Well, Qantas's turnaround strategy is continuing with the company's shares hitting a seven-year high today. SBS Finance Editor Ricardo Gonsalves joins us now. Ricardo, investors liked an update from CEO Alan Joyce. Janice, they certainly did because he confirmed costs are coming down. Its transformation strategy, which is in year one of three, will realise $875 million in benefits this financial year. Debt is on track to be reduced by $1 billion and one of its biggest costs, fuel is expected to be $550 million lower than the previous 12 months. And shares took off as a result, climbing more than 7% at the close. The market is expecting a $900 million underlying profit when it reports in mid-August. And we've got some good news from the Bureau of Stats today. A 3.5% rise in the value of dwelling commitments to $31.6 billion. Nearly half of that went to investment housing. It means more people are taking out loans following the February interest rate cut but this result is for March before the May RBA rate reduction. Let's take a look at the Australian share market now which rallied ahead of tonight's federal budget closing higher for the first time in five sessions. The miners had a great day building products company CSR soared after it posted an 82% rise in underlying full year profit thanks to the housing boom. NAB returned to the boards weaker after it raised $2.7 billion from institutional shareholders. The other banks closed higher. In Japan the Nikkei was barely changed. Shares on Wall Street finished lower overnight. The Australian dollar is a little higher against the greenback buying just over 79 US cents as consumer confidence rose according to ANZ Roy Morgan following the RBA's interest rate cut. And on the commodity markets both gold and oil are lower. And I will be back with a special budget reaction edition of SBS World News later tonight.